What up, y'all? I'm back with another review, and I'm here to review this new EP from Novelis, Mike Swords. Now, I got this uh, idea to even review this after seeing it on Dead End Hip Hop. So shout out to them for the original reviews. This is the only they're the only guys I've seen review this. Um, in particular, it was uh, BZ and and <laughs> and nigga like K Benge. But um, uh, yeah, Mike wasn't there. And FIFA wasn't there. It was just them doing the dead end uh, solo reviews. Well, not the solo reviews, but the group reviews without other guys. And, and they do that anyway. So check them out. They're one of the re reasons I'm doing YouTube reviews in the first place, along with Needle Drop, Luke James, um, Topaz Yates, guys like that. And um, let's go ahead and get right into this. I'm glad I listened to this uh, for a third time. First time, I just I didn't really, really give it a listen. It was more of a skim through to see if I would like it or check it out. And... Um, I thought it was good enough to be checked out. First time I listened to it, I was uh, I couldn't really enjoy it because um, that night I was listening to it, I was just fucking like miserable because I was so fucking hungry. But I didn't want to get up and make nothing to eat, so that's my shit right there. But still, let's go ahead and get right into this review. Nine tracks long, an EP. He's with the Clear Soul Forces, I believe that's the group's name. He's one fourth of them. Uh, I can actually give that to you right now, actually. I just followed the man on Twitter because this was one hell of a project, and I said, I got to give this man a follow. Any new artist that I listen to, um, I got to give him a follow. Oh, yeah, this dude, Sermon's D Domain, another one of the YouTube reviewers I messed with, and got him me to, um, got into reviewing. Um, but, yeah, Dead and Hip Hop's first ever premiere artist slash member, uh, novelist of Clear Soul Forces. Okay. Let's go ahead and get right into this review. With track number one, Mike Swords, this is novelist introducing you into, uh, well, Mike, Mike Swords. And <clears throat> he speaks on being a father uh, and a husband and how he's overlooked. And I could definitely say I've seen uh, the Clear Force, the Clear Soul Forces channel um, and uh, this one channel that I got to listen to it on. Uh, and it, he definitely seems to be overlooked. He's a very good artist. And I'll leave the link to this in the description like I do most uh, videos so you can listen to this yourself. <clears throat> the track number two, Striker. I love the beat. It sounds like it belongs on a 2K soundtrack or something you can just walk through the streets to. And I love the Illmatic halftime shout out on this thing. This was, it was, it was genius. This is one of the songs I downloaded off here. Along with, I think this is the only track I downloaded other than what I had previously downloaded off first listen, which was Last, uh, last Words. Track number three, brand new. This sounds like some tribe slash gangstar type of shit. It really sounds like it's from the 90s. It really does. Track number four, well, this whole EP does. Track number four, Hashirama. It was cool. It went by very quickly. I mean, it had a, such an immediate, abrupt uh, ending, but it paved the way for the, it really paved the way for the next song, um, uh, Mace Windu featuring Ad 2. And I can't even picture the scene that this song is like, not where it's taking place at. Like, um, it's just so unique in that way. I can't really picture what I'm doing or what somebody's doing listening to this song or when this is being recorded. And um, Ad 2 had a long verse. Like, it seemed like it was more his song, to be honest with you, on this track. Track number three, uh, six, Prane featuring DJ Soko. If you've heard Twisted by Tila, or the original sample, King of Rock by Run DMC, that's right on here. And this shit was like, wow, head bopping ass shit. I love the classic scratches. That's how you know you're getting something that's 90s influence when you get those scratches on there. Because that's mainly where, where you get the scratches from in the first place. Not saying you didn't get it in the mid to late 80s, but the, the 90s was really when you were getting that shit. And it kind of carried over into the early 2000s, but had a very abrupt stop for some reason. But scratches are starting to come back, though. I mean, really. In the past two years, I've really seen the re the resurgence of scratches. Like, in the past uh, decade, you've seen the resurgence of people buying vinyl. CDs are going down, but vinyl's going up. And people were even going back to putting shit on cassette tapes. It's like, we're really getting that, that classic, warm feel of hip-hop that's coming back, especially with a track like this. And with track number seven, Last Swords favorite track on here without question um so much stuff he's saying on here like three quotes in particular since my graduation my education says i shouldn't be struggling with the basics in addition to subtracting each other it seems there's more to the equation than cops and police brutality the new form of um 
terrorism in America. And he's saying so much more on here. It's like, damn. And with track number eight, I mean, this, I mean, with that chorus on for last words, it's like, uh, these are the last words of a righteous mind. How can I forget this? Uh, my words, my weapon, don't write my name in the sky. Uh, last words of a powerful mind. I, 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 I mean, this is my shit. Track number eight, one time. Novice is patting himself on the back as an MC with this track, and which definitely leads into the last track on here. Above the Rim, which I thought that last words would have been the perfect outro track. This is a pretty good damn replacement. I mean, this was some good shit. And it's really a thank you all to listening, but also touching on what he kind of said with most of the EP, especially with last words. And overall, I have to say, this was a solid-ass project. I have to give this a 8 out of 10. If you've heard this project, let me know what you think, what you think about it in the comment section below and what you think about my review on it. If you haven't heard this project, I highly recommend that you do. I'll leave the link in the description below. So be sure to hit the like button if you like this video. Share the video. Subscribe if you're new. Get at me on Twitter, Facebook, Audio Mac, SoundCloud, and Instagram. Hit up my email for business or anything. And what I mean by hit up my email for business is if you need your music chopped and screwed, if you need your music reviewed, if you want to be featured on one of my upcoming DJ mixtapes, or you need beats made. Get me on social media. Uh, get me on my business email. Like I said, dynamicjabbergmail.com through PayPal. All those links are in the description as well as my social as well as my social media. So if it's easier for you to just leave a comment and let me know that you need something, go ahead and leave a comment. If it's easier for you to just get me on social media, go ahead and do that as well. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Listen to this project, and uh, I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.